What is up guys, it's Josh the King 7 back with another video and today as you can see we have this James Jones on the screen. So this card just came out about 10 minutes ago and I went to check out his badges and all of his attributes. This card is a monster, you guys should pick this card up. This is probably going to be one of the best budget beasts in the game. As you can see he has 4 Hall of Fame badges, so let's take a look at them. So as you guys can see right here, this James Jones has Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Deep Range Deadeye, and Limitless Range. He's basically like a sharpshooter on the park. He's also got some mental badges, Championship DNA is pretty good because that helps him perform in the clutch, same with Clutch Performer. Microwave is a really good badge because he'll get hot really fast and he'll be splashing threes all over the place. And Spark Plug's actually pretty good too because if somebody calls a timeout to try to cool him down, he won't really get cool, he'll stay hot. So looking at this card's stats, he's got an 88 open mid, 85 contested mid, he's got a 97 open 3. With all those badges he has, he's going to be making almost every shot. If you plan on picking up this card, I suggest going into freestyle first just to test out his jump shot and make sure you got it down. So he's also got a 97 free throw and 95 offensive consistency which means he's not going to be missing too many open shots. So looking at his athleticism, he's not too fast, he's got 82 speed, I mean that's not horrible but that's not the best. He's got a 75 vertical, which is also not too bad, but not the best. And he has 95 stamina, which means that you can keep him in the game for a long time. Looking at this card's inside scoring, he's got an 82 driving layup, which is pretty good. His driving dunk is only a 58, but actually that's not that bad because his vertical is at a 75. And even though this card's driving layup is an 82, if you take it to the hoop with him, he has a 95 draw foul, which means he'll be drawing a lot of fouls. This card's playmaking is not the best, he's got a 75 ball control which is decent, 74 passing accuracy. Honestly the 29 passing vision, that doesn't mean anything, that's just for AIs when they're passing the ball. And then 70 speed with ball is okay. So this card's defense is definitely not the best, but at least he's got an 80 lateral quickness. I mean he's not going to get that many steals or blocks, and his shot contest is 52 which is honestly pretty bad. But this card, he makes up for it on offense. And I suggest not putting this card at power forward because his rebounding is pretty horrible. So I would just leave him at the small forward position. Maybe you can even put him at the shooting guard if you don't have a shooting guard. I think he could fit there pretty well. But I would try my best to keep him at small forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'm out. Peace.